don't think that you're going to want to go <laughs> away from that if it's just close. If it's you know, close, like Albert Breer says, it's close. He, they don't think there's that big of a divide. But should he, it be that close? Should it be that close at this point? When you're talking about a guy that you took in the third round from a, a Division two school or one double A, one of those two, I can't remember. It's on the cusp of. Let's just call it Western what it is. Kentucky. Yeah. Okay. Should that guy be this close to your guy who's supposed to be your guy moving forward? Should he be that close? No, he shouldn't. But maybe, right. and, and maybe though, though he's worse, that close Mark. because of what was going on last year with the coaching Here, staff. Here's what here's what makes it worse. He's that close when they had horrible offensive coaching. So that tells you what if he, what if this guy Bailey Zappi had. Uh, Josh McDaniels as his coordinator at the same time as well. Would he potentially be past Mac Jones at this point? See, that's the crazy thing. Bailey Zappi should not even be close because Matt Patricia was the first guy to show him plays in the league, and the team went 8-9. and nine. Like, it shouldn't even be close. And then I saw, look, why was it that when Bailey Zappi got into the games last year, the offense looked better no matter how bad it was, and when Mac Jones got in there, it seemed to be like you're having problems with management. Look, there are many other things going on in sports right now, but this is a big deal when your first round quarterback just taken a year and a half ago may be already out of a gig. He's not out of a gig. He's, He's the quarterback for the Patriots. They're not going to trade him. Sure, they might listen to some calls. He's going to be the quarterback this year. I think part of the reason Bill O'Brien came back was to work with Mac Jones. They know each other a little bit. More hand-holding, yes. More hand-holding. Okay. More hand-holding, yeah. Well, I whatever. I mean, they need – here's the other reason. If they don't – if they go away from Mac Jones, who are they going with? Who are they going with? What, are we going to just do this all over again? No plan. Move on from a quarterback with no plan. We going to do that again? Well – Look, you had a plan. You did execute that plan. You drafted Mac Jones. It did not turn out. the. Di- Look, this is the discovery year, right? You're going to give him every opportunity to be the quarterback with Bill O'Brien in there to run this offense. But again, another coordinator doesn't necessarily mean that this makes a more in- intuitive Mac Jones. It does. You know what I mean? Like some of the things that I saw from him weren't so much hit bad coaching as much as it was intuition. Like get rid of the ball sooner if, if the play breaks down. Um, making throws off of your back foot, you know, out of fear, you know, stuff like that, which is like, okay, yeah, if Judge is your quarterback coach and you're having immediate issues where we've seen reports with before, that could be a situation. But guess what? Have Matt, have Matt Patricia and Joe Judge been let go from the team? No, but let That's me ask my you this point. question. But let right. me ask you so this. So, like, if they were the problem, usually you get rid of the problem and you move forward. But if you keep the same people around in the room, you know, or in the office, if you will, and you've got to work it through, then they see maybe you as the problem.